How's it going guys? This is Razor Wrath bringing you part 53 of Vampire. We left off where we went down into the tomb, find out that Elizabeth was the daughter. We found out that William Marshall won that is still alive for one. That lies that were told about him were not, you know, exactly the truth about him. He Empire Knight. He is he did at one point eight and was the one that chained. So now he is the one that was chained down there in that tomb. Um just wanted to point out once again that, you know, this game has been great. It's fully designed. It's such a great game to play. If you guys are watching right now, I highly recommend you play this because this is such a joy. The story, gameplay, everything about it was just so beautifully done. Now we carry on to talking to William Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos and, and all this. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe. And let's continue on. The blood of Eve. How does it affect you? Do you feel it now? The blood of Eve. Yeah. Now they walk on his knees. A knee held on the floor. You could blow a fortune now if you release it. I would like to ask you about vampires. Vampires? What about them? Considering your experience, please tell me what you know. They are tough creatures. I have seen fought many in my time. Foul entrances with sharp arrows and shrieking beaks. I have never seen such a creature. What are you talking about? Of course, you've never seen a creature like them. Vampire, deadly, swift, in plan. Where did you encounter such creatures? The last time I saw one was in a temple near Salisbury. A terrible, forsaken place full of ghosts and pestilence. So, we must be Echons of more. If he's, if he's still talking about the same thing me and Elizabeth are, and what he is, then this is a vampire filled with blood of hate. Or filled with the, the blood of hate, just, and make them sick and wicked, pure evil. And he's had to smite them and fight them, because he's kind of trying to gain control of a vigilante, a righteous person, that, you know, he's, he is what they are as well filled with the blood of hate, but he's trying to make amends for it. And he's kind of even more evil than what we want. Can we speak the more now? The rave we have. Who would have heard? Met her, did you not? Just a Heaven seemed to sing to me. I love her so. It's a soft love and warm. I am in sometimes. Do you know how she is? I don't want to miss this in front of my sweet Elizabeth. Why? For a time, two could hear the red bomb. The step in the garden and its medicine brought him upon the world. So, the Red Queen is basically the reason for the blood of hate. And still, you know, is entangled in the Red Queen's hatred because he didn't take the antidote. Elizabeth is finally free of that. And she is a vampire immortal without hate anymore. He's still tied down to that. That's why he has to stay here. And the minute he's let, you know, the minute he's released, he's talking about his sneeze, the minute he's released from this, he will be doing evil again. I guess. I'm guessing. Um, Do you remember that? Only God, my maker, for he created.
rested on this earth. He blessed us with eternal life through his own Michael. But murder, Michael, is a vampire. He made me a blood sucking creature tonight. Blood? Yeah. Are you drinking from the throats of the unworthy? Then I will punish for my deceit. During your moments, I rely entirely upon my sweet influence. Tell me about her stuff. How was she infected? I do not wish to discuss her. Please, sir. I need to know what the blood is. How is it transmitted? After defeating the disaster in St. Paul's Gulf, I heard my retreat in This is where my sweet but found me, for she heard my pain across the sea. So Meridian that appears to me, that appears to Jonathan, from what you know, William Marshall's consensus is saying that it is, you know, Jonathan may be confused and thinking it. The arch, the archangel Michael. William is more wiser to know that maybe, you know, it wasn't Meridian that bit him, or changed him into a vampire. Or maybe William Marshall's confused too and actually got bit by a vampire instead of being blessed by God. Besides the point, um, it's still an interesting story, but everything's just confusing every time they talk. Where is that? Where is this retreat sweet? In London, at the Temple Church, beneath my empty tomb. I always love to sleep there while listening to the bell above. What happened then? The blood of hate had twisted me into a rage-filled man. I attacked my progeny and infected her too. Forgive me. Failed. You bit her again. Is that how she was infected with the disaster's blood? I think I understand now. And I found my meaning for the days. I swore I would have no way to make things right. How did you meet the time? I had a way to protect the land from a new plague. I heard her sing before her head fell. Singing is not the thing. I chose. Who was that? It was long ago. A few years ago, Elizabeth and Catherine had made an alliance against Spain. What did you do? I raised my progeny. To see the world, I rebuilt the deceased again. We live in the world. Did you really sacrifice yourself to say that? That man will be right, John. The blood of my hate made me hurt. I am a human. I can think about what I've done and how I failed. Oh, really, dude? That's gonna suck. He's trying to dishonorable me, but he's also a vampire. He is through time, as long as he's been alive, to try to amends for everything that he's done. And he just wants to be a piece. All the evil he's done. Do you not want to be killed? No. This hunger is mine. I would feel empty without it. It's been part of me for so long. All I want is quiet. Sorry. You agree to be confined here, then? Yeah. Once I'm done, I was cured. I asked to be locked down here. I deserve it. The world needs it. We could set you free, let you out. Isn't that what I want? I pray for the day, Elsa. 
see the sky again. I have all those colors. I could walk and do so some things beneath the stars. But I doubt it will be wise to release me. Then will you stay here and repent? Listen, it will not be long now. I cannot wait to feel the sweet caress of her hand on my cheek after so long as she releases me. She's gonna kill you? As now. Yes. Father. Why not wish me to see the scar for the final time? You already are the scar and all the stars. I'm not defeated. For I welcome the sword you bear, for it is mine. You will defeat him, my lord. Runs in my veins. No, no. I won't allow this to happen. I am death, Jonathan. Wherever I go, I can't stand. Who cares? We are vampires. We are death. No, no, no. I won't bring disaster into this world. I can't lose this life. Even if it means putting the whole world at risk. How can you say such an awful thing? Where is the Jonathan I once saved from a scar in this abandoned factory? I'm not that frightened man. I've left so much. Done so much. I see. So there is nothing worth living for in this world anymore. Farewell. So I'm curious, is it because I chose path that soul is more corrupted? And the just that we came to at this end has to be this way. I wonder if I chose the good side is if you know, we would have done it different. She just spread herself. Because I told her she was the good. One prayer for the summon called by this song. Child born from darkness, path he must find. Now the song is sung and your path. It means the price paid most. But what do you care? You are the one who keeps killing. You've chosen your path, my fallen champion, like others before you. Pray to lust and slay the everlasting thirst. My kind sleeps once again, and I'll soon join her slumber. Until at last she rises, woken by the hunger never. So, yes. Wow. So I think we chose, I wasn't going to go evil or bad, but we kind of like strayed towards the evil ending. Which I'm curious if I chose to not kill the city and save it and save Whitechapel, save the docks, save the West End, save Pembroke. Does all this ending change? I would love to play that play this game again and see a different alternative for the for the Doing exactly like William Marshall did. Stop feeding on blood. Be a weakened vampire. Be a weakened newborn. And gather XP for helping. Doing the side missions, saving Pembroke in a healthy sanitary way. And not feeding everyone to just 
power up and be strong enough to fight the Red Queen and all this other stuff. Even if I gotta fight the Red Queen at level 20, and that's as strong as I can get. Or level 35, which was the level of Harriet Jones before she became the Red Queen and was released. Either way, I look forward to eventually playing this game again and, you know, seeing the different ending. Because a game like this, I would love playing it again. I'm playing the light side this time. Every time I play a game, I usually play the light side first. I save people, but I thought I could, like, I thought I could eat a few people and let the rest of them stay alive. Or I thought I could turn everyone into vampires. I thought I, I could change everybody over to my progenies. Except embracing them just kills them outright. Kills them. Doesn't change them. So I was like, the minute I started killing people, and I found out that the next day that they were actually dead in the grave, except Mary was the only one that was a progeny that didn't want to be any, didn't want anything to do with me because she was born out of hate. But I had to kill her. I was trying to do what I did with Mary, but the game set itself up from the very beginning that Mary would come back. I was trying to do that with Pembroke. I was trying to do that with Whitechapel. I was trying to change everybody to vampires because a lot of the people I came across were just outright jerks. And I was like, you need to go, you need to go, you need to go. And then it turns out that I was just trying to level up and keep up with the game. And I was just feasting on everybody. But in the end, Elizabeth had, Elizabeth had to die. I continue to be an evil, bloodlusting thing never satisfied. I lost Elizabeth. William Marshall had to die because Elizabeth finally had the courage to kill him and his suffering. All in all, I give this game a 10 out of 10 because It has the potential to be challenging. There is no direct game difficulty to set. There is no easy, there is no hard. It's based off of choice. It's based off of, you know, not wanting to give into vampire bloodlust to stay strong. The more you want to embrace people and get XP, it has a dire consequence throughout the whole game. We chose the evil side in the very end throughout playing the game and progressing. We were trying not to, but in the end, it was already too late by the time we lost one district and we might as well just continue killing the rest of the districts. She points it out at the very end that I was the sole reason everything fell apart. That everything fell apart. Because now I have a progeny. I have that one vampire hunter that is now a vampire. And he is like my sworn enemy and because as long as I'm killing people and being an evil vampire, he just hunts me down to, do, to chop my head or something, like Elizabeth did to Wood. So the cycle will always continue with me. Same thing with Marshall went through. And eventually that guy will have to. And eventually. Nicola will have to kill me, whether he's cured or not, but I just started the whole cycle all over again. Because 
thanks for watching, guys. This game has been so fun. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe. Um, let me know how you guys feel about my game. My gameplay. I didn't mean to say my game, but yeah. I'm still brand new to this whole YouTube universe. Still working out the kinks. But this was fun. Oh, no. oh I can't believe I <laughs> freaking chose the evil ending and there was no turning back. <laughs> Well guys, thanks for watching, and that is the end of Vampire. This is Razor Wrath. Peace out.